Hello. I'm here to talk to you about a simple breathing device your doctor would like you to use. By using it correctly, you will help expand your lungs to prevent lung complications that commonly occur in patients following surgery. Keeping your lungs fully open and free from infection is an important aid to your recovery and will help you return home as soon as possible. The devices that are frequently used to prevent lung complications are commonly known as incentive spirometers. The incentive spirometer you will be using is the COACH-2, manufactured in the United States by DHD Healthcare. Before we demonstrate how to use the COACH-2 incentive spirometer, let me describe the correct technique for any incentive spirometer exercise. The basic goal of this therapy is to inhale a large enough quantity of air to fully expand the many tiny air sacs that make up your lungs. Keeping these air sacs open and expanded is an important factor in preventing respiratory complications. Deep breathing exercises, as prescribed by your physician, using the COACH-2 incentive spirometer will help you expand and keep your air sacs open and resume your normal breathing patterns. However, not only should you breathe deeply, but the method in which you inhale is important to give you the best results possible to improve your recovery. The correct technique is to inhale slowly and deeply over a 5 to 10 second period. This allows for a more even expansion of the lungs. Fast inhalations may cause certain areas of the lungs to expand more than other areas and can be more tiring. After you have taken in the slow, deep breath, you should try to hold the air in your lungs for a count of six. Holding your breath for six seconds allows the pressures and volumes within the different air sacs to equalize. This will help to reopen any of the air sacs that have closed down. After you have held your breath, relax and exhale normally. It is not necessary to force the air out or to make the exercises physically hard or tiring. A relaxed, easy pace is all that is required. Let's review. For the best results from your deep breathing exercises, inhale slowly and deeply over 5 to 10 seconds. Hold your breath for 6 seconds. Exhale normally. Your clinician will suggest how many deep breaths to take and how often you should use the COACH-2 incentive spirometer. Generally, 5 to 15 deep breaths with an incentive spirometer every hour during waking hours is sufficient to keep the lungs properly expanded. Now, let's look at the COACH-2 incentive spirometer and see how this device is used. If the COACH-2 has not been assembled for you, simply open the bag along the top perforation and remove the device. The bag has a perforated handle to provide easy storage and transportation of the COACH-2. Attach the open end of the tubing to the screened port on the front side of the device and extend it to a comfortable length and angle. Now the COACH-2 is ready for use. When you look at the COACH-2, you will see a series of numbers on the device. As you inhale through the device, the large piston rises, indicating the volume of air you inspire. Measurement of the volume you inspire should be taken from the top of the yellow piston as it moves past the calibration markings. As you will notice, the calibration markings are on the back side of the device as well allowing your clinician to easily monitor your progress. There is a sliding yellow patient goal indicator on the side of the device to set your daily goal or record your maximum effort. Use your finger to slide the yellow patient goal indicator to the volume level prescribed by your clinician. Located behind the happy and sad faces is a yellow float that coaches you to do the proper technique with incentive spirometry. The small yellow float is called the inspiratory coach and it measures the rate at which you breathe in. 
When you are using the Coach 2, you should inhale slowly and deeply, keeping the inspiratory coach as close to the happy face as possible. The inspiratory coach also rattles slightly when you raise it as you inhale, giving you audible feedback while you are performing the therapy. Your Coach 2 may have a one-way valve in the port to keep you from blowing into the device. The one-way valve only allows for inhalation through the Coach 2, which will remind you to perform the therapy correctly and helps keep the inside of the device clean. After taking a breath through the Coach 2, remove the mouthpiece from your mouth to exhale. Exhale through your nose or simply open your lips and exhale around the mouthpiece. Now, let's do one or two breaths with the Coach 2. Use your left hand on the handle of the Coach 2, adjust the tubing, and place the mouthpiece in your mouth and seal your lips around it. Exhale normally through your nose. Slowly begin to inhale through the mouthpiece, keeping the yellow inspiratory Coach as close to the happy face as possible. Breathe in as deeply as you can, noting how high the top of the large yellow piston rises. When you have finished breathing in, hold your breath for six seconds, relax, and exhale normally. Use the progress chart in the package insert in the bottom of the device to record your daily progress. Now, repeat the exercise. Inhale slowly and deeply, keeping the yellow inspiratory coach close to the happy face. Hold your breath for six seconds. Relax and exhale normally. Record the number closest to the top of the large yellow piston. After you have completed the prescribed number of deep breaths, you should cough several times to clear the breathing passages of any congestion. If you have had surgery, it may be helpful to support the incision with a pillow while coughing. When you are finished using the Coach 2, you can attach the mouthpiece end of the tubing to the convenient holder on the left side of the device. Simply extend the tubing over the slot and push down the tubing, locking it in place. The Coach 2 also can be hung on your bed rail to conveniently store it out of the way. Your physician may have prescribed supplemental oxygen for you during your incentive spirometry exercises with the Coach 2. The oxygen tubing is connected to the back of the unit on the oxygen port marked with the O2 symbol. Once the oxygen tubing is connected and oxygen is flowing, use the Coach 2 exactly the same as previously demonstrated. I hope this program has been helpful and that you recognize the importance of this simple deep breathing exercise. This healthcare facility is sincerely concerned about the quality of your care. Your cooperation and active participation in your treatment will help you return home as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.